Ooh, 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 ooh. Fire, fire. Ooh, ooh, water, fire. Wheel. Why am I doing this? Because I'm about to take you caveman today. I'll tell you what, I had this question come in from Greg. Greg, this is a great question. Greg has been a lifetime learner and he always wants to be ahead of the curve. He's a personal development guru. He's a coach. He's a leader. And he wants to know, as his kids are still you know, under five, he wants to know, how do I know whether my kids are doing okay, hitting their hitting their goals, their personal their personal growth, and all the different things? You know, there's tons of literature out there that says your kid should be this by this and this. And so he would like to have a man's perspective, a dad's perspective. So I'm gonna not be the scientific, you know, dad guru here. I'm just gonna go caveman because I'm dynamic, I'm creative, and here's why I'm doing this. Okay because this could go to a, a child psychologist and he could answer all of those targets, okay? But I'm gonna take you back and say, we'll turn back the clock, you know, oh, wheel, what is wheel? And he gives it to his son. You know what, the cavemen didn't have literature. <laughs> okay. Um, whether you believe in cavemen or not, that's another story. But there wasn't literature. Okay, for these ancient men and ancient dads, they didn't know. They're like, "Oh, son, make fire! You did it!" Okay, it, it was much simpler back then, but yet they turned out okay. So my my point is to go back this far is to show you that sometimes so much information that we have today can almost put to overwhelm us as dads and make it too hard. So I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to give you resources for technical answers, okay? I'll do that at the end. But my simplified answer, how do you know whether your kids are growing and developing properly? Okay? You've got to be engaged with your children. Number one, read to your kids. Number two, play with your kids. Number three, talk to your kids. Ooh, fire, wheel, not like that. Okay, you can grunt a little bit, ooh, ooh, like Tim Allen, the tool man. Grunt if you want to. Read, play, talk. When they're older, work with your kids. Okay, but those first three, here's what's so awesome about it. Reading to your kids, I'm telling you, reading aloud to your kids, phenomenal for your kids' development in learning and reading skills. That's a huge one, okay? Play with your kids. This shows them that you want to connect with them and you get into their world and you play with them. Talk to your kids. You know what? My oldest is almost 13 and there's all kinds of guidelines as to when I should talk to him about the boy-girl stuff. I didn't have to look in a book to figure it out. He was asking questions. So I talked to my kids. And definitely, this goes without saying, you got to make time for your kids. Okay, so this wasn't a a direct answer it was more of a hoo, 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 hoo. oh water fire hmm okay that was so lame anyway here's some resources for you greg i'm sure you've heard of many of these but the first book i ever read as a dad my son was literally in utero it's called wild at heart by john eldridge it'll teach you about the heart of a boy and the heart of a girl and for those that are not christian background no worry you can ignore the christian part of it fine just look at the part about the design of the heart of the boy and the girl. It's unmistakable. You will see it everywhere around you and how boys act and girls act. Check out that book, Wild at Heart. Second book, the, the second two books I like, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of James Dobson. He's written two, Bringing Up Boys and Bringing Up Girls. There's a lot of um, psychological and physiological stuff in there as far as benchmarks and targets to hit. Check those two books out. Um, Meg Meeker has some great books on fathers and daughters, mothers and sons, and the list goes on and on. But those are the ones that we go have as our go-to. But again, in this question, I'm telling you, look back to the caveman. He didn't have all this information, all this literature. He just figured it out. So how did the caveman figure it out? Well, he couldn't read, but he worked with his kid, building fire and, and survival. He played with his kids. And he talked to his kids. Now, this talking might have been hoo, 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 ah, ah, fire, but it got through. All right, peace out.